I've gone crazy, but I don't even know where to start. How about at the beginning? Okay. It's the dead synchronicity point. The entire universe is changing, and we're going to witness it. We're what? going to be witnesses. And victims. Witnesses? Victims? But what the hell are you talking about? What is this dead synchronicity point? It's hard to explain. You're a photographer, so I'll try this analogy. Imagine a person's life chronicled in photographs. Up to now, and according to the rules governed by our universe, we're all subject to certain very specific temporal rules. Past, present, future. That's all there was. So the first thing we find would be a photo of the person as a newborn. Sixth birthday. College. And so on. We'd see photos of the person wedding, children, old age, death. All in logical, linear, chronological order. Since our universe is conceived along a single line. Starts in the past, makes a stop over in the present, then projects into the future. You follow me? Well, of course. Imagine now entire temporal architecture crumbles. It falls apart. Dissolves. Something, someone has altered the foundations, changing the rules. I'm paraphrasing. Annihilating the idea of time, the concept of past, present, and future. Thank you, lost me. Let me continue with the metaphor of the photographs. Imagine now that a car dealer takes all those steps off to sum up the life of this person. Shuffles them. Places them. What would you have? It would no longer be a chronological. There would be no past, no present, no future. Each of the individual events captured would all be happening simultaneously. Exact same point in time. That point we would call the dead synchronicity point. Our world is abandoned, it's old physical laws. Time no longer exists. <laughs> that sounds crazy. How credible do you think this report is? Completely, Michael. The dead synchronicity point is a fact. And the worst thing is that we're approaching it faster and faster. It'll only be a matter of days, at best maybe a few weeks, before the universe enters this new state. Time is ending. In oh. every sense. And what does all this have to do with us? Come on, do you still not see it? This change in the architecture of the universe, this nullification of time, is the real origin of the Great Wave, the dissolved, and the emergence of the New World. So, the Great Wave was caused by this approach to the dead synchronicity point? Yes, Michael. The Great Wave was the first manifestation of our universe's approach to the dead synchronicity point. That's why the catastrophe struck at the same time all over the planet. It wasn't just a local occurrence, it had global dimensions. It was the first clear and obvious sign that something was going wrong. And it brought chaos and misery to the world, as you've been seeing yourself since you woke up. Huh. What the hell do the Dissolved have to do with all this? According to the report, the Dissolved are still a big mystery. There isn't much information about them, or their disease. What we do know is that they are people who are especially sensitive to the dead synchronicity point. And that is what's so tragic about them. Especially sensitive? Of course. This transformation, this radical and overwhelming change in the basic structure of the universe, is totally incompatible with human life. We're condemned to die, Michael. Each and every one of us. That's terrible. How can you be so sure of that? If you think about it rationally, it's obvious. Our bodies are the product of hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, of a gradual and precarious adaptation to the environment, the universe, and its physical laws. Reaching the dead synchronicity point, the annihilation of time, we'd need another hundred thousand years to adapt to such a drastic change. 
And what do you think will happen to the human race, to each and every one of us, when this process concludes? I'll tell you. Our primary metabolism will go into a state of shock. Our entire cell structure will be jolted so profoundly and so violently that what we now call our bodies will lose all coherence, leaving behind just a brown puddle as evidence of our existence. We'll dissolve like those poor Pure sick energy. People. Indeed. According to the report, the dissolved are simply pioneers, people who are ahead of their time, the vanguard of the human race in its final extinction. That's why some cases started cropping up so early, even before the Great Wave. Their illness was the harbinger of the enormous explosion that was to follow. It preceded it by hours, even days. And that's why the cases are multiplying exponentially as we get closer to the end. Do you understand? We'll all end up turning into dissolved. Huh. The last time we spoke, you told me that there could be a solution. A way to reverse all this madness. Yes, and that's the best part of the report. Theoretically, Michael, and paradoxical as it may sound, our progress toward the dead synchronicity point also brings the opportunity to change things. To turn the process around and return to where we were before our world collapsed. Time and travel. I knew it. By penetrating the very center of the anomaly, the deepest nucleus of dead synchronicity, and arriving at the point where time is just starting to fold back into itself before the process is completed. If, inside the dead synchronicity point, each and every one of the events that have happened or will happen in the universe unfold, then surely it must be possible to gain access to the moment when something or someone triggered the catastrophe and stop it. How could any one person you're, change you're the universe? You're talking about time travel. Yes, I'm talking about the possibility of accessing the past to save our present and our future. Of turning the great wave and all its consequences into a mere nightmare that never actually happened. The report talks about the hypothetical existence of a door leading into the very heart of the dead synchronicity point. A door to each and every one of the snapshots of the past, present, and future of our universe. And if, through that door, we had a chance to access the precise instant when everything went haywire, then we might be able to change things. Michael, that's what we've got to focus on in whatever time we have left. But I have to continue studying this report. I'm sure there are more answers in it. And you have got to help me. Uh, let's see. Theoretical journey to the past. Sooner or later will all be dissolved. Right, Michael? Get to work on it as soon as possible. Or it also mentioned another very interesting about the dissolved. What is it? In their trances, through their trips to the underground, the sick of a very strange relationship with each other. As if the disease unites them, regardless of their physical distance, it might separate them. The report is very unclear. It seems as if the dissolved are somehow linked, connected. I told you, pure energy. That can't be. Remember, please remember. You shut up in the last 10 minutes of the game. My head. No. Michael, we're connected. What's going on? He's in a trance. Get one of those tests ready. For what? You don't think that you're also... Do as I say. Give me your hand. Now. To splash. Yep. It's positive. I knew it. Of course, everybody's going to be sick. Because you just said so. It's inevitable. Time will stop. Emily! Michael? Michael, wake up. 
Emily, is that you? Is that really you? Where am I? Yes, Michael, it's me. You're on the underground highway. You've been playing Dead Synchronicity. Tomorrow comes today. That's it. That's the end. It's over. Hmm. Well, thanks everybody for uh, watching. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Share with all your friends. And as always, we'll see you next time.